Meet Adept, the 13 year old who just dethroned Uzi as the youngest champion in Siege. In today's video, I put him up against two of every rank until he loses. How far do you think you get? Yo, I forgot to ask, how old are you, bro? I'm 13. 13? Okay. I just turned two months. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, me Adept. Changing me! Drop shot, bro. Over you, Andy! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is on both. This is actually a base. The youngest champion. It's no longer Uzi. That's right. Uzi is now too old. Adept is the new youngest champion coming in at 13 right now. And today we're going to put him up against two of every rank until he loses. Now for this game, we are going to be combining the coppers and the bronze players as in both of our opinions, they're about the same rank and it's really difficult to find both coppers and bronze players. But if you wanna make it a little bit easier on me for the next video, consider joining my Discord, it's free. The link will be down below in the description. But listen, comment down below, what rank do you think Adept is going to make it to the youngest champ in the game right now 13 years old he's absolutely cracked keep in mind when i had newers do this challenge he made it only to the golds before he was 4 owed so comment down below what you think he's going to make it to but let's get straight into round number one here all right we're gonna see moritz i'm not really sure how to pronounce his name going to be ash rushing directly in through study with Reed directly behind him on the ace right now. So they do have the hard breach capability if they want to rotate master side to try to get that triple wall open. But right now it seems like the copper slash bronze players are going to do a south over push. And with their drones being taken out, they have little info left. Now Adept going to rotate back onto site, trying to make some more angles and line of sight to better hold it down. And with two minutes remaining, the attack is actually done a pretty good job here of taking map control with not even a minute off the board they are able to take all of the south side of the map and now we see Moritz opening up this wall between the sites now and a pre-fire coming through narrowly taking adept out but fortunately for him he's able to walk away from that with full hp making an angle so he's able to see the statue door that reed just droned and i believe this is putting the attack with no drones now. Adept pushing up now, trying to see even get a frag, and he's going to do just that. Re goes down, but does he know that Moritz is in sight? He does, and he's going to get the headshot through the deer. Great first round coming out from Adept. Let's go, bro. Good shit. First round. Too easy. Yep. How you feeling? Yep. This shit going to be easy, 4-0? Good. Yeah? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> All right, bro. Good luck, man. I think Sol is, like, really good here, but I'm going to play the shield here. Yeah. You can just like take all their drones away, but also the cameras, getting on the cameras is really good because you just get a sense of where they're pushing. Yeah, like facts. All right, well, good luck, bro. I'm looking forward to seeing it. All right, you heard it from him himself. He's, he's feeling good about this. We're looking for a clean 4-0. I'm excited to see it. I think he's got this in the bag, guys. I think he's got this. The bronze and the copper, it's going to be too easy. But listen, just because they're low rank does not mean it's going to stay easy, all right? Like I mentioned, Newers made it all the way to gold and he got four owed. Okay, so don't count out the low ranks just yet. All right, now we're actually seeing the bronze slash copper players do a little bit of a split push here. It looks like Moritz, yeah, is going to completely push up solar stairs right now. And that's going to leave Re all alone on the bottom of main stairs with the diffuser. So let's hope that Adept does not find this out as that's going to be an easy gunfight for him. And then he'll be able to hold down the bomb. Moritz going to take out a drone and... Try to see if the rooms ahead of him are clear, but Re, he doesn't need a drone. He's going to be walking in blind right now. He simply does not care, but it's going to cost him. He's going to shoot that alibi and adept now knowing that someone is top main. He's going to be wary of study door and, well, Re's going to push it and get taken out and quick peeks around the shield right now. Good shield placement from adept. Let's notice that is this literally just saved his life from Moritz, who's pushing the north side right now and great positioning from adept choosing to hop on top of the shield well played by adept and great shield placement there the game sense really good all right it's rounds number three and adept 20 seconds into the round still completing his lengthy setup but can you blame him he's a one-man army right now trying to do it all by himself and it looks like re and moritz are finally going to try to push together so we'll see if they can maybe pull through with the rounds here 
retrying to possibly hop in through this window and that would definitely be the wrong decision as Adept is just sitting here waiting for that exact thing. Free Fire comes out but Re not going to take any damage and Moritz now going to use this as an opportunity to push in through Laundry but Adept realizes what's happening and he's going to take his attention to that Laundry door. Re going to push with Moritz as well and we're going to see a double swing here perhaps. Flashbangs come out but Adept safely behind Tetris is not going to get flashed. Instead he's going to light up Re and actually take him out leaving Moritz all alone again in a 1v1. Adept still full HP so he's looking good here. Moritz going to hop straight in through the window and he's going to take about half HP now. Adept still on full HP and really all he has to do is sit here and wait. Or the swing. Moritz going to do just that and miss his shots right now. A standstill from both players, but Adept finally taking him out. And we're looking at a clean 3-0 here so far. Only one round to go for the win. By the way, if you guys are as impressed as I am with how good Adept is, with how young he is, consider following him with his socials all linked down below in the description. I would appreciate it, and so would he. All right, here we are on round number four. And with a well-pre-placed drone... Adept is going to get some information to see that Re is currently inside of study. He's fortunately for him going to back out. Adept with this nice LED5 black ice that I wish I have is going to be trying to push towards the front door right now. And seeing if he can make some sort of an entry into the map. Now it should be pretty easy for him to do so considering both players are on site right now. And they're actually running the Doc Rook combo. What could go wrong here? Alright, Adept is now underneath the site and... I'm confident with the drones that he is using, he's going to be trying to nade from below. And you can see he's pulling out the nade. He's going to be trying to do exactly that. He's trying to use sound the best he can, but going to pull out his second drone. And this is his last drone. He just have, he has no other information to fall back on. So this cannot get destroyed. He really needs to get the kill off this information. But unfortunately for him, Moritz has already walked far away from the door. Depp trying to go for his second nade, but again, Moritz going to dodge it. No nades left. Adept's going to be forced to walk up the study stairs. A minute and 30 seconds left. He's going to have to challenge Re, who's just sitting behind the study desk. And a lot of damage onto Adept, but it won't matter as Adept will get the headshot. Re goes down, and Moritz now frantically rotating over to 90 Hall to try and stop Adept from rotating into the site. But a free fire from 90 Hall. Moritz will actually clutch up for the copper slash bronze players and take Adept out. So Adept is going to have to win one more round to clutch this out. Bro, that was close. That was close. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I I thought you'd still be in sight. Yeah, dude. I think it really just came down to, like, you were low HP from that guy, like, yeah. ratting in study. That was all. I didn't see his head, bro. Like, I, I thought it was said, like, but it took me a second. So. Yeah, dude. He was ratting, like, underneath the monitor. Yeah. Okay. All good, dude. You got this. Sense. All right. Adept on the Amaru. It's 3-1 match point. He honestly doesn't have that much to lose here. A quick Amara rush would be cool to see. And a pre-placed drone is going to give him all the information he needs to say that he's able to Amara straight in through 90 window here. Both of our copper slash bronze players currently still setting up on the site. And I will say Adept is going to struggle a little bit with the castle barricades that Moritz is running here. As you can see Adept is not running a hard breach gadget, fl only flashbangs. So he's going to be forced to melee open several castle barricades to try and push towards the site. So the longer he takes to roam through the map, the worse off he's going to be for this execution on site. Good drone work from Adept right here. He's able to see where pretty much both the players are now, pinging out some of their utility as well. But like I mentioned before, these castle barricades are going to be a big problem. And even if he opens this one here, if he chooses to rotate to a different side, he's going to have to go and melee that one open as well. So, this is really putting him in a tricky position right now. Ooh, but the Gon 6, I didn't realize Adept running the Gon 6 able to actually open up one of the castles, and he left this one hit, where he only had to melee it one more time. Very, very smart coming out from Adept here. He's able to take out two castle barricades in just under a second. And now Moritz trying to rotate into Memo. Trying to gain some ground and hold the site here, but Adept is going to win that gunfight. Re now sprinting up from Kitchen, trying to clutch up here for his team. He doesn't want to lose this. It is match point, but the flashbangs are coming out from Adept. 50 seconds left on the clock. A lot of damage onto Adept. Re's going to rotate into Kitchen. He's full HP. The plant's coming down from Adept, but it's just a fake. No flashes left. He does have the LMG. Only 30 bullets left in it, though, and Re's going to go for the flank. 
Will Adept know this? So far, he's sticking to plant. I don't know if he hears it. He's, he is. He's looking in a memo right now. He misses the shots, though. Re is still more HP than Adept. Adept rotating back. He now has the head height angle. This is good. Is Re going to be able to clutch this out? He doesn't have the crosshair placement. He doesn't have the game sense. But he is going to be rotating. Twenty seconds left on the clock now. Adept's going to flick over towards China, and the headshot's going to come out. And GG's Adept will take it. Let's see how he's feeling. How did he get there? How did he get there, Shock? Dude, he rotated out. He was on the right of Memo the whole time. <laughs> oh, I swear I saw him get to the go on the left side. Yeah, he was on. I think he like strafe left at one point, but he stayed on the right side for the majority okay. of it. Yeah, because I went to like go reposition myself i was like okay he's on the left side and then i started hearing him on my china door but mm -hmm. all right easy game silver's next all right guys we're loaded into map number two right now make sure you guys like the video if you're enjoying so far i would appreciate it make sure you guys are also subscribed because we're going to be trying to do a lot more videos here soon with the depth so if you want to see those videos make sure you guys are subscribed turn those notifications on but let's get straight into round number one here all right, we're starting this game off with a little bit of trash talk coming out from the silver players saying that Adept, our 13-year-old champ, is about to get slammed. Well, we'll see. Last game, he's able to 4-1 the copper slash bronze players, so we'll see how he fares against the silvers. Prince already fully sprinting up luggage, and he's going to be inside of luggage already, but wow, easy free low. Just going to get the kill directly through the door. Wow. Well, Adept saying that he made a bad move in chat, and it looks like the Silvers, with their trash talk, are going to take round number one. I don't think anybody expected that. Freelo says, clipped, killed a champ. What are you guys doing? If you guys kill a champ, are you clipping it? Let me know down in the comments. All right, Adept losing the last rounds on Oryx, going to decide, you know what? Let's hop on to Malusi. Let's slow them down a little bit. We did see Prince just rushing in last round. This round, though... Looks like he's going to take things just a little bit slower. Gonna at least drone out the first room, but cannot say the same thing for Easy Freela, who's already inside of, of Hookah, going to put a depth down to like 30 HP, and here comes Prince running up the cool vibe stairs, but this is exactly what Adept wanted. He wanted these Banshees here to slow down the attack. Flashbang will come out. That'll flash a depth, but it won't matter as Prince is going to push off the angle now. And wow, what an explosive start to the round. Easy Freelo mentioning how he whiffed in the all chat. It seems as so as Adept was certainly not ready for that Amara rush. Prince trying to run up these cool vibe stairs and struggling to deal with these banshees. It looks like he's going to fully rotate towards the white stairs now. Adept though smartly checking cams and monitoring where Prince is going. So he's tracking him with the cameras and with his info and he knows that he's going luggage right now. So it's going to position accordingly. Prince trying to run in now. A minute and 30 seconds. He does have plenty of time here, but limited utility with only Buck. Two flashes in hand. So he will be able to use these for the rotate. Adept choosing to rotate up towards the A-bomb as he really does not want to give Prince any sort of map control whatsoever. And, well, it's only just smart to play off of the Banshee and Adept's going to do exactly that and... Well, what do you know? He's going to win the round. Easy round for Adept. This is more of what we expected. I was getting a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie to you guys that Amara Rush was actually scary. And Adept even saying, this is dead ass hard. Let's see what he has to say. Dude, that Amara Rush was super scary, bro. I thought you were dumb for it. I should have died. I don't know how I survived. But... Yeah, he was whiffing, bro. Let me tell you. Yeah, he must have. Oh, the silver God. effect, I guess. Dude, I don't know who I'm going to play to set up Saya, to be honest. Yeah, Malusi is who I was playing a lot, just because, like, the impacts for rotates yeah. and the Banshees of slowing down is so good. It's hard. Like, I don't, I'm not a good SMG 11 player, to be honest, so. Right, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's always the biggest challenge with these videos, though, is, like, people don't realize, Steady but, though. yeah, like, a 1v2 situation in, like, a traditional ranked game, when you have teammates that place utility yeah, and are yeah. giving you calls, it's so much easier than, like, a 1v2 where yeah, it's, it's just you. Good. Yeah, for yeah. sure. All right, drones are being shot out, and that's definitely going to be good for Adept. Is remember, throughout this entire game, drones shot by Adept are going to be very, very powerful as the attack only has so much information. With that being said, Easy is playing Brava, 
So he will have two extra drones to play with, and he even will be able to take out these Thunderbirds. So that will be a variable, very, very valuable asset for the attack. Prince trying to drone. He's got his drone in a very common spot right now. You would hope that Adept would check for this right now, but Prince is going to be calling out to his teammate, saying that he's able to push straight in, and oh wow, I can't believe Adept actually won that, but he's not going to win the second gunfight. The pinch was perfect from the two silver players. You saw Prince outside, droning for his teammate, hanging exactly where Adept was, telling, I think it was Freelo, that he's able to push in through service. And then the second that Adept was sufficiently distracted, you saw Prince get off the drone, gone six the window, and hop in. Really good push from the two silver players. We're going to see if Adept is able to come back. Right now, he's down one to two. I don't know, it's not looking great so far. Remember guys, when he loses, the video ends. Keep that in mind. All right, the youngest chamfers, two silvers, come on. Down one to two right now. Gonna drone that Prince's top white right now. Prince is gonna take that drone out and Adept is now down a drone. That is definitely not good news. Although he is the on, on Iana, so he'll be able to use his clone pretty much infinitely to continue to get information. Very good pick for Adept as he's going to be able to use that to his advantage, but he's going to see now that Freelo and Prince have rotated towards the white stairs and they're now going to run back towards site allowing Adept to push top white and taking some map control. Now if you notice, Easy and Prince are actually fairly separated right now. Prince is a pretty good solo kill for Adept to get right now and he's got the drones to see that Prince is there and what we might see right now is Adept go straight for that kill. Freelo though, trying to make it a little bit more difficult for Adept and he's going to be trying to push up through luggage right now and it sounds like Adept hears this. Freelo making the right decision though and he's going to fall back. Prince pushing up though, trying to get back into theater. Adept, nade in hand, going to be trying to nade Freelo. Ooh, but the nade is just a little bit too short, not able to do any damage. A minute left on the clock, so Adept really needs to make some moves here. Pushing into theater. Prince pushing behind the penthouse bed right now, and ooh, a great shot from Adept. That'll take him out. Now let's see. One left. On vase. Nade in hand. There are banshees. He's going to be able to clear this banshee with the nade, but it misses. Smartly checking for Capcut traps. Both players are full HP. Ooh, I say that, but Adept's going to take some HP, but it won't matter as he gets the headshot through the wall, taking Freelo out, and now tying things up 2-2. Two to two, I was about to say, you do not want to see the Silvers win another round if you're Adept right now, as that's going to put them on match point. So, well played by him, and let's hope that he's able to get this next round for his own sake. Oh, this could be a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Adept has just droned past Prince, who is currently prone inside of Hookah right now. Adept on Iyana. There will, no, there will be no footprints to be found. This could be a very big problem for Adept here. We'll see if Prince is able to successfully hide from Adept for the rest of the round and pull off some form of a flank. Freelo, though, going to be left on his own on the site. So if we see a rush coming out from Adept, he could have the site plant and win the round fairly easily but we'll see how things play out Freelo going to, going to be checking the default cams pretty smart thing to do at the start of the rounds now honestly is just a waiting game i'm really interested to see what prince does here i want to see if he's going to wait here the whole round Freelo using the solus gadget to spot out adept's drones but adept is going to drone out the site and he's smart enough to know as a champ player and he only saw one on site. If you ever drone site, you count how many are on site. That way you know how many roamers there are. It's just a very common and default thing that you do. So Adept droning the site, he's going to see, okay, one on site. There has to be one roaming, but where is he roaming at? That is what he does not know. Prince coming out of his little rat spot now, trying to go and flank the cool vibe stairs, but it could be a little bit early as Adept's only just now pushing in to mud. The honor clones come out and there's a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. So he's going to have to pick up the pace here if he wants to get the round win. A 
Adept actually droning above, but I'm pretty sure he missed the drone on Prince. I'm pretty sure he just completely walked by him. I'm not 100% sure or not, but if that's the case, that could be extremely problematic as Prince is sitting just at the top of the cool vibe stairs here. Another Iana clone is going to go out. Maybe Adept heard some audio above him. Looks like maybe he did as he's aiming towards cool vibes, but either way, he will know that Freelo was somewhere by courtyard as his Iana clone will get shot from there. And well, it looks like Adept has the sight as there's 45 seconds left. Prince is still above in VIP and well, Freelo is now flanking blue bar. Adept realizing that, hey, I think sight's clear. He's going to push in. 35 seconds left on the clock now. He's got the diffuser in hand. He could easily make a plant here. Prince not doing anything to help his teammate right now. Freelo currently sitting on site. Not really sure where Adept could be. All the way back in service entrance right now. The plant is going down. One second left. It's most certainly going to happen. Both the defenders have no idea that it's even happening. Now you can see a panicked rush back to the site as both of them are trying to figure out where the bomb was planted. Prince actually might be able to impact the wall behind him and get a long arm diffused behind the reinforcement. But I don't know if he's smart enough to realize that. But will, will it matter as he swings? Oh my god, a depth with a great shot on the Prince. Able to take him out at the last second. I thought the reload was going to get him killed. But he finishes the reload just in time. And the Cav pistol, not as good as it used to be, won't be able to take a depth down. And well, that's going to be match point now. Can the 13-year-old champ move on from the silvers and onto the golds? Bro, that was, that was a crazy flick right there. I thought when you reloaded, you were dead for sure. Dude, I had no clue where he was because he was Cav. Was the Souls flying above? No, Cav was prone behind the bar and hookah the entire round. And then entire. Solus, the entire round. And then Solus was playing like courtyard slash blue bar. I knew I heard that guy. And then I was so confused when I let me in sight. I was like, all right, I'm bad. I was, I was smart then because I thought he was going to be playing above for the diffuse. Oh, so you planted service. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. That's really smart. You know, it was, then, it was that, that actually would have been really smart of them, but it was actually. Cav at one point that was in VIP. It's when you were planning. Yeah, so they did not play that smart at all. Yeah, no. Dude, I heard of that guy in hookah, and then this is just all about intel, I feel like. That's yeah. why I'm using Ayana so much. Yeah, definitely. I, I was mentioning that when I was casting how important the drones are and all that. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's probably boring to me watch a drone half of the game, but Oh, that's good, dude. Whatever gets the win, man. Yep. All right, bro. Good luck. Last round. Match point. You got this. Let's move on. All right. We're going to see Prince on this cab again. He's 0-4 right now. Now, listen. That really doesn't mean much as there's only one person on the other team for him to kill. And there's two players fighting for the kill. So, it really doesn't mean too much now. But he's leaving his teammate frequently alone. So, we'll see how this fares for Freelo. As he's currently on site trying to hold things down. He's got a pretty good dock setup going on. But Adept... Possibly going to be trying to push from below. Maybe trying to see if he can get some nades from below. As he's just outside of Mudroom. But instead, actually, we're going to see a rappel onto the hookah balcony. And maybe even a wall bank here with some drone work. Yeah, this is exactly the type of play that I would try to do. Drone out and then try to get a free wall bang. Really, when you're in a 1v2 situation like this, your goal is to try to find one player that you could just isolate and get an easy kill on. If you can find one player who's solo or that's just in a good good spot where you can get a free kill on them, you always want to take that so that you have those clean 1v1s. So Adept trying to do that right now. He's just doing some drone work right now. You heard him say it's a little bit boring, but it, like I mentioned, it's whatever gets the wins here. Droning out, seeing that Cav is below right now. You might use this information to try to push the site. Freelo all the way outside in Aqua. And wow, the vault over is what will get Adept killed. Is That'll put his head in the line of sight of Freelo. And oh no, 3-3 three, three, OT. That is the last thing you want to see if you're Adept. That was unlucky. Did you fat finger the vault? No. Uh no, I just didn't think he was going to be holding that, but I sh that was just stupid by me, to be honest. I didn't. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Yeah, I was going to go, like, because I knew I was going to be, like, a loser and just stay on ruins for a little bit and, like, try and get that aqua pick. <laughs> and, but I just straight up vaulted. That was just stupid by me. It's all good, bro. Listen, remember, you got to be confident. You're so much better than these guys. You got to take those 1v1s. Yeah, you're, you're true. I just need to, like, walk in. Yeah, you got to take those gunfights, especially if you find that they're solo. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're right. 
I gotta be more confident, he's right. I'm gonna go in sunrise and just walk up cool webs. If, if it's clear, obviously. Oh no, he's finding my gen. No. No, my gen. Val? Oh, warning, okay. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, not me to- Oh, yes, yes, okay. Alright, bro, good luck, man. All right, let's see. 3-3 three, three OT. I want to see him win this, man. Free low. Spawn peeking, though. Exactly where Adept is coming from. And I know that he hears that C4 is going to come out. And Adept was walking directly into it. But fortunately, he's going to hear the C4 rip. He's going to walk away from that. Prince, though, also has a C4. Adept might not be ready for the double C4 setup. And, well, this is going to be very difficult for Adept. And let me explain why. The bomb site is upstairs in Hookah. So if Adept wants to plant, he's almost certainly going to have to take out Prince, who's playing below with the Pulse Scanner and the C4. But Freelo is holding above, so no matter what direction that Adept chooses to push, it's going to be at least a gunfight. Adept droning out below, you're going to see that there's a Pulse there, and remember, he said this is an information game, trying to find these 1v1s, and he realizes that Pulse is below alone, so he's going to push in and try to take him out. Remember, there's no way that he can plant if that Pulse is playing below, but... Fortunately for Adept, Prince is going to rotate up top way and head over towards Penthouse side. Drones are still going to be coming out, droning all of the little corners, making sure that he's not in any sort of rat spot. Full scanner coming out, but not going to see anything, of course, as Adept is still over by Sunrise. Very thorough droning, though, from Adept. He's really trying to figure out where this pulse went. Freelo, on the other hand, is inside of sight, seemingly AFK. Just waiting for anything to happen. We're really at a standstill right now. Just waiting for something. Yana clone comes out. And this Shirley will go up the cool vibe stairs. A minute and 15 seconds left. And two grenades in hand. And well, if you look at the outlines, there's actually nobody even on site. You've got Prince inside of cool or inside of VIP calling out that Adept is pushing up cool vibes. And you've got Freelo trying to play on the vase right here. But here comes a grenade from Adept. He's going to throw these out and then try to push up through the stairs. Prince still giving out callouts, so this is effectively a 1v1 between him and Freelo. But Freelo rotated all the way to Aqua, and remember, he double barricaded this off, so Adept's gonna have full control of the site right now. Prince still giving out constant callouts, but he's not able to really fight while doing that. C4 goes out, but it's gonna miss, and his teammate's gonna shoot him through the wall. Adept now pushing into Hookah. He's got the bomb in hand, but there's only 35 seconds left. Prince holding the cross over by the little. Whatever the hell you call that thing. Adept planning now. Three seconds left on the plant. Freelo pushing in. There's no way that they can stop this. Prince no longer has his C4. He's going to push up the vase. Trying to deny this hookah push out from Adept. He's going to open up the door though. He's doing his best to escape. 30 seconds left on the plant. Prince going to get the information on the pole scanner. But it's not going to matter because Adept swings in the, the double collat here. Coming out from Adept. Great shots by him. And now, finally... Back on match point. One more round once again to win this game. All right, good shit, bro. One more, one more. Yep. Got this All easy. Right. Nah, bro. Do you agree with Do you agree with Prince? Are you just getting lucky? Is it all uh, luck? I've mute, but no, that was pretty lucky actually. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> not all luck, but that was like, well, I want to say that's luck on my part. They're just like they played that bad. Nah, that's but, not that's it's not luck if they played it bad. That's just on them. Yeah. yeah. But. I was getting a bit lucky earlier, but that's fair, that's a fair. lot of it's like game sense and stuff. Like that one round I was walking up white and I knew Prince was going to be in that corner of master. That was like just game sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh my God, Prince going to own five. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm friends with him, but that's funny. Hey bro, no need to call him out like that. <laughs> Dude. All right, bro. Good luck. Match point. You got this shit. All right, last round here, and we'll see if Adept is able to move on to the gold players. I'm hoping that he is able to. Prince and Freelo right now setting up outside of service. The bomb site is going to be service slash kitchen. Adept desperately doing his best to try to finish setting up the bomb site. Claymores are going down outside of the kitchen window. That's going to make it a nightmare. The depth wants to run out. It's now going to rotate over towards the sunrise side. And it looks like Freelo is actually pushing outside of front door right now. So we're going to see another split push coming out. So Adept's going to have to win these two gunfights here. Adept now rotating into bathroom. And this could be good as Freelo is currently in the end of the hallway. And, well, what did I say? Adept's going to get that kill. Freelo going down. 
Freelo, indeed, he's typing in chat out of frustration. Prince pushing up, trying to get an angle into main lobby, but not quite going to be able to see Adept. Now, Prince does have the site for free, but he does not have the diffuser in hand as it's just inside of the hallway, and, well, Adept is watching that. Prince now taking site inside of the Banshee, but that's only going to give Adept more information. Bomb still not in the hands of Prince. He's going to take more damage from the courtyard. Adept just toying with him at this point, playing inside of main lobby. Pre-fires go out. Adept's going to take a little bit of damage. They're about the same HP now. The 1.5 in PDW, I'd say that Prince has definitely got the gun advantage here, but the impacts are going to come out, and that's going to do a little bit more damage onto Prince, who's now taking the site. But once again, it doesn't matter. Adept has the bomb, and he knows it. Wallbanks come out. Prince narrowly missing the kill onto Adept, actually. And one minute left of the clock, though. He's going to try to make another push for the Diffuser. Adept trying to stop him from doing that. Pre-fires come out. And there goes the swing. Adept will win it. And GG's. The 13-year-old champ wins another one. And we're moving on to the gold players. Let's go. GG. Yes, sir. On to yeah. golds. On to golds. All right. On border. Order? Defense. Yeah. Order defense. Okay. You got to win the golds, bro. You got to do better than the newers. Just oh, so you yeah. can say you did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the youngest 13-year-old champ against two golds. If you guys have made it this far in the video, listen, make sure you guys follow Adept with his socials linked down below in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, like the video. Let's see if he's able to win this, guys. It's about to get a lot harder now. You can already see just by the movement coming out from James here. The movement's not anything insane, but you can just tell the quick peaks. It's a little bit more aggressive. This is going to be a lot more difficult than your silver or bronze slash copper game. So put your predictions in the comments. Let me know if you think Adept is going to win this one and beat Newer's record and make it to the plats. We'll see if he's able to do it. All right, bro. No way in hell I'm able to pronounce Lion's name. So we're going to call him Law, and he's going to be Lion scanning and pr pushing down the big tower stairs right now. James... I believe pushing front side laundry actually already all the way down the laundry stairs going to be taking out the first banshee and adept i think hearing right. that james now pushing deep into laundry he's about to be in sight now adept realizing this he hears he possibly hears james getting on the cam lion scan's gonna come out james gonna throw a nade towards the hallway and push towards this rotate right now and oh no adept going to be reloading in view of the rotate and James will take him out. A great split push coming out from the two gold players here. And great timing with the lion scan. They're able to coordinate that push and that scan at just the perfect time to take out a debt. Bro, this is already looking hard. Yeah, no, they're they're playing well. Yeah, they're like I knew where they were and I just like they just played it well. I don't yep. know, I might have I could have played it better probably like some way, but yeah, it's just going to be hard. You're just going to have to make a lot less mistakes now because, like, you, you can yeah, see they're just pushing together a little bit more. They're pushing exactly. together a little yeah. bit better. All right, so what do you think the strat is? Do you have to do something different against the golds, or you think it's, like, going to be pretty much the same I'm thing as you thinking, did before? But, still um, thinking? <laughs> you know, I'm really big game. I'm still thinking, but I think I just need, like, obviously in 1VX situations, you need, like, eliminate the like both them swing you at the same time like what happened last game like, trying to make like a one v one situation yeah so that's what i'm gonna be trying to do the entire time but i'm still thinking of ways i can hide my chance even more all right bro well good luck all right shooting out the glass on the windows i get a lot of comments from you guys actually during these videos asking why people do that and if you didn't know it's actually so that you're able to hear someone repel on the other side of the window because the glass actually stops a lot of the audio. But if you guys are looking for more little tips like that, or you want to play with me and get some advice for your gameplay, consider joining Six Shot Academy with the link below. But oh my god, I'm trying to promote something, and Adept is over here just getting kills. James is going to go down. I don't even know how it happened. I think James repelled in through Armory Window, and Adept was there just to take him out while I was trying to do an ad read. Well, either way... That's going to be a great kill for Adept, and that's going to put Law now in a 1v1 situation versus the youngest champ here. Is he going to be able to clutch it out? I'm not sure that Adept knows this just yet, but Law is actually pushed up on the top of White Stairs. Adept is desperately trying to check the cams, figure out where Law's positioning is, and that's what makes these 1v1s so scary, is you just never know. And just like that, Law able to sneak up to the top of the stairs. It wasn't even that great of a shot. But he's able to take him out. Adept really just had no clue that he was there. And, well, we're looking at an 0-2 
lead right now for the golds. You know, I really do feel bad for Adept there because when I've done these videos in the past, I know how frustrating it is to take out one of the two, three, four, five, however many players it may be, and then not be able to take out the last one. It is so frustrating. But the thing is, is it's really difficult in these 1v2s especially to figure out where that last person is coming from. As you can be so silent and just rat around for so long, it can actually be pretty difficult here. But because of that, we see Adept saying, you know what, I'm tired of getting snuck up on, let's take Legion. So he's going to be throwing these goo mines out, probably on white stairs and some other places, and he's going to be trying to use these pretty much strictly for information. I like the Legion, bro. The Legion is a strat. Yeah. That dude snuck up on you so hard. You know, I, I looked at Tower Hall Cam and I realized it was down, I knew where he was. I just sort of repeat like that, but... It's all good, bro. The Legion's a play, I feel it. Yeah. All right, good luck. I'm not, I'm just things a bit differently on the setup here. Yeah, I see that. All right, well, let's see if this uh, new setup, like he says, is going to work out. It looks like he's reinforcing all of Attic off, and you see him going to barricade it as well, and he even places a goo mine in there. So he's basically going to forfeit Attic control, and in this situation, I actually don't think that's such a bad idea. Struggling to get this drone right now. I believe that's going to be Law's drone on the IQ, who's just hitting bottom white right now, and... Well, you know, we saw Law push up bottom right before, and he's going to be trying to do just the same thing again. And I think he's going to be sneaking up on Adept as, well, he went IQ, the perfect counter to Lesion. He's going to be able to scout out all of the goo mines and just melee them so that Adept does not hear it. He checks the staircase, but doesn't see anyone. And now Adept's going to rotate into kids. Law is just being very patient, holding the top of the stairs, and allowing his teammate James to push in. He's going to nade. That forces Adept to push back. Now, we're going to see Law finally get hit by that goo mine, but it won't matter as James pushes into games and takes out Adept. Good try by him, but so far, 0-3. Not a good start to Oregon whatsoever, but listen, maybe the defense was just a little bit too hard. And, well, apparently his sister and his dog messed him up. So, without those factors, maybe on attack, we're going to be good. <laughs> no, bro. Did your sister put your dog on the mouse pad, like, yes, right as you got bro. in the gunfight? No. Yes. Like, I, I just, like, if you look at my stream, right, like, someone should clip that. But I'll I'll show you, bro. Like, yeah. my dog started whimpering or, like, crying, whatever. And I was like, I asked her to take her out to outside. To go probably or whatever and mm. put it on my mouse basic like joke but she doesn't understand oh no unlucky i don't know this is gonna be that was, it's gonna be really hard yeah that was yeah, for the match points so you, you're gonna have to get three straight here yeah oh no i just gave my job this is not looking too good dude you're on it you're chilling but listen i think with attack it, you might find this a little bit easier because i think you're getting yeah, a little bit overwhelmed on defense yeah definitely so you got this bro take your time and you'll win it yeah. All right. Good luck. All right. Adept now running Buck with that beautiful C8 black ice. You'd love to see it. And of course that champ charm. Now let's see if he's able to bring this back. As I just mentioned, he is going to have to win three straight rounds here if he wants to win this game. We all know he wants to. He says he wants to make it to Platts. He wants to beat Newer's record. I want to see him beat it. So we'll see if he's capable of doing it. He's going to be droning out Big Tower right now. And he's actually going to see that Big Tower is soft. And while this is really good because you see James and Law sitting directly inside of Big Tower. James actually going to drop. Or inside of Attica. My apologies. James going to drop and push Big Tower. Law still sitting just behind this blue tarp in Attic. And well, the wall is soft. So if Adept wants to, he can easily buck that open. James now trying to push the back stairs. Maybe doing a little bit of a flank as I believe... That the defenders heard him repel in big tower. Adept's gonna buck open the wall, but Law throws a C4 close, and well, Adept hears that, so he backs off. That C4 is gonna blow up, giving Law an angle closer to where Adept is playing, and here comes the swing. Law's going to whiff. He runs out of ammo. He puts.